so we don't see it. But luckily, <laughs> we've looked around, found some lovely ones, and for today we've picked you four real beauties. Right, for our first wine, we're going off to Chile, we've got the uh, Mayu uh, Pedro Jimenez. It's from Asda, and it's six ninety eight a bottle, and it's the 2010 vintage we've got. And this is from the Elki Valley, and that's in the um, so just south of the Atacama Desert, so it is bone dry there. They have to irrigate. They have less than 100 millimetres of rainfall a year, which is nowhere near enough for making for growing grapes. Um, now, Pedro, oh God, it sounds lovely. Pedro Jimenez is, is um, oh, you probably know as PX, which is a sort of sweet, sticky sherry made from the grape, um, and they dry they dry the grapes on mats, so they become raisined and they make this sort of black, syrupy wine. This is just made as a normal grape. Um, isn't that a refreshing smell? It is. It's fresh. It's floral. It's citrus. It's Actually, you really must try this wine because yeah, people. Don't, I mean, it's difficult to pronounce. You know, Pedro Jimenez, just but it starts with an X. But just yeah, the X. Yeah, it's uh, that's just so inviting. Lovely, isn't it? That is. It's bright. I'm trying to think what it's like. It's not quite as obvious a flavour as Sauvignon Blanc. It's nowhere near as sharp. It's not that it is the sort of Sauvignon Blanc thing without the gooseberry. So it's bright, it's sharp, yeah. mouth watering acidity, refreshing. Been really good seafood this, and you yeah. had some really good seafood in Chile. Oh, yeah. yeah, gorgeous. I suppose they've got quite a coastline. <laughs> um, um, seafood everywhere. At most meals we had a sort of ceviche of lovely prawns and coriander and chili. And gorgeousness. This would be gorgeous. I wish that. I'd been there. Sorry. Well, I've just been bottle reading, mm. and um, Mayu the name of the estate, um, is the ancient Inca name for the Milky Way constellation. And the bottle says quite romantically, crystal clear skies above the Elki Valley are as perfect for growing fantastic vines as for stargazing. Oh, doesn't that sound nice? And actually that, that is a big difference between South America and England, the UK. Um, the colour, the colour of everything, um, the colour of life generally compared with the sort of pale grey that we are in our life. Yeah, it's the food, it's the dance, it's the fiesta atmosphere. So, we're going to party on to the next wine. Right, we're hopping across the Andes now to Argentina for a white from there, and this is the Tupangato Chardonnay. It's available from Marks and Spencers, and it's $7.99 a bottle, and we're on the 2010 vintage. And this is made by Catena Zapata. And it, look at the colour already. Oh yeah, really look, rich, really rich and golden. Dining room gold. Yeah. <laughs> now Tabangato is um, a good region within the Mendoza region, which is probably the most well known in Argentina, yeah. isn't it? For wine. Yeah. It's a very very rich oh, smell, isn't it? It is. It, really? it smells so kind of sweet and fragrant and yeah. um, almost oh. dried fruit, oranges, yeah. all that. Really rich. Fabulous. That is lovely. Isn't that lovely? Some really lovely oak yeah. notes in that, but, but it, not no. in your face though. This wine a few years ago used to be just too oaky and I think they've, they've really reined it in. Mm. And now it, it barely touches it, does it? Yeah. It's got a bit of um, the vanilla flavour, but it hasn't got any, there's nothing grating about it at all. No. Is it really no, it's got really lovely acidity in it, but there's some honeyedness to the throat, oh, isn't lovely. there? Um, it's really lively, isn't yeah. it? Really. 
Yeah. It makes you want to get up and dance. Yeah. <laughs> get up and dance. Actually, even the South American dances are different from ours, aren't they? Yeah, they are actually, if you think about it. Um, tango. Yeah. Rumba. Yeah. Salsa. Yes. And what have we got? We've got um, tea dances on the Blackpool Pier. Hmm. Not quite as colourful, is it? Not quite. No. <laughs> right, we're hopping back to Chile again now for our first red. We've got the Vigna Leda uh, Pinot Noir. It's from the Las Brisas Vineyard. It's a single vineyard wine and it's the 2010 vintage. And this one's available from the Wine Society at 10.95 a bottle. Now, unlike Spain, where Reserva legally means something, it, it doesn't mean anything in Chile legally, but it has sort of been taken on as the entry level for most producers, uh, which is a little bit misleading. Um, Vigna Leda use it that way as well, and then they have single vineyard as their next one up, and then they have the winemaker's lot as their top one. But their Reserva actually is of Reserva level it's you know really very nice wine yeah. this is this is one notch up oh that lovely warm pinot nose isn't that gorgeous it's got it's got a touch of the smoky bacon about yeah, it yeah it has sort of leathery in a lovely way there's so much rich fruit yeah i can't so wait to get into this okay one of the best wines we've tasted recently yeah. isn't it it is really. it's singy it's smooth the fruit is just absolutely it is so bright isn't yeah it? delicious just lovely we went to vignolada recently and they did this they did our tasting under a tree and we had the a huge vista with the maipo valley sort of snaking through it oh, how um beautiful. it was it was so stylish Oh, you know, really, I mean, the wines, the wines really are stylish, aren't yeah. they? Really terribly good. And, and actually, it's kind of whole South America thing. It's all pretty stylish. There's just there. something stylish about South America, isn't there? I mean, even the buildings, you know, yeah. the, the basic ones, the basic housing is colourful and bright. And yeah, they just managed to do that. And what, what have we got? We've got um, sort of grey concrete tenement blocks um, with drizzly clouds at the top of them. Not. Not quite the same thing, I feel. No. And our last wine is the Luigi Bosco Reserva Malbec. It's the 2008 vintage, and it's 11.99 from LoveYourWine.co.uk and 13 pounds from Bancroft, BancroftWines.com. Great. Now we couldn't have done a program featuring Argentina without having a Malbec, could we? I mean, it is the flagship red grape Absolutely. from the country. This, just smell that. I know it's it all just smell, but oh, I'm getting inviting. Spice and pepper, yeah. and sort of a little bit of mocha, some lovely dark fruit. It's juicy, it's fruity, there's, there's, there's some oak flavours, but it's just gorgeous. And boy, has this got some legs on it. Oh. But it is 14% alcohol. Isn't that lovely? It is. It's fruit, isn't it? It yeah. is just, it is bright, juicy, ripe, yeah. refreshing fruit. But you know, I'd actually add the word, there's a bit of refinement or elegance in there is. it, isn't there? Yeah. This would be lovely with a great big juicy yeah. Argentinian yeah. steak, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Something, you know, sort of a bit charcoal on the edges. Now actually, I was, that makes me think, you know, even the meat in these countries is sort of more rich and flavoursome than we have. Yeah. I mean, you know, juicy big steak, roast beef and kind of yellowy Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> Don't be rude about Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> but I, I agree with you saying. Um, and even the, the sort of sauces and the accompaniments, they have a vibrancy, a colour, an excitement. Imagine a sort of a vibrant all sorts of I mean, all sorts of colours and salsa, that lovely coriander oh, gorgeousness. God, yeah. And then we have pallid salad cream. Yeah. Um I love this. This is just one of a stack of wines we could have shown you for this program. Yeah, we had big trouble cutting the list down. Yeah. Really. So I think it just means we're gonna have to be doing another programme about it pretty soon. At least one. Yeah. At least one. Yeah. So um until then, see you next week. See you next week. Mm -hmm.